All right, so in this one, we are gonna update our navbar brand to be an image. So if we look back into our project, we see that if I remove the navbar brand, it still has this little space here. So we wanna re replace that space with an image. The image itself is gonna be very similar to the text that's currently there. And of course, the text is selectable where the image will not be. Um, and the placeholder image that we will put uh, will be available in the GitHub. So you'll even see the Photoshop file for it, so PSD. Uh, but the main part to notice here is the dimensions, the height being 22. The width can be as wide or as small as you want it to be, but the height is definitely going to be 22. And then the image itself is in here as MVP underscore landing underscore logo dot PNG. And if we take a look at that, we see that it has a transparent background with just some white text. Um, so that's what we're going to be changing it with. So let's go ahead and jump in back into the navbar.html. And we're going to delete out this MVP landing. And we're going to change it with image source. And we're going to use double quotes here. And we'll use static because it's a static file. Remember, it's in our static in pro. And it's an image. So single quote here now, img slash MVP underscore landing underscore logo dot PNG. Single quote, uh, percent and curly bracket. And then we want to close off the image itself. All right. Um, so now that we have this, we now have our actual logo that will come through here. Uh, but there's one more thing that if you went to try and refresh your page, you'd see that it doesn't understand static. So we need to add in load static files. And again, that's a template uh, tag loader, and it brings in the ability to run this static right here. Okay, so we save that and go back in here. And notice that it doesn't look a whole lot different, except now when I scroll over it, it doesn't actually change colors. It is still the exact same thing, and it's actually an image now. So I can actually select it and move it around. So if we collapse this thing down, we can take a look at it. Still stays uh, fairly good, right? So the actual size of the image is still there, and it's solid. Um, and as far as where it's located, that works out pretty well, too. It's lined up very well, especially on the big side. When it's broken down, it's not lined up perfectly to this text, but it is lined up actually well with everything else. All right. So now we've got that brand and that is can be any kind of image, of course, but that main key is using 22 pixels. So we can take a look at what happens if it's a little bit bigger than 22 pixels high. Um, we can add in this element style. You don't have to do this. I'm just illustrating a point here. And let's say it's 30 pixels. Now you've got some weird padding on, on the bottom of it. So you'd actually have to change how the padding of the nav bar is and how that all that stuff's gonna work. Otherwise, you're gonna run into some issues with the look of your site. And now, if you're okay with it looking like that, that's okay too, uh, but you will have to play around with the padding for it to make sure that it actually is accounting for the different size, especially if you want these to everything to remain in the middle. Um, and it, you'd have to get rid of that line as well, again, to make everything in the middle, all these other ones. But keeping it at 22 makes it in the middle and it is still nicely aligned with everything else. All right, so if you have any questions on adding an image to your nav bar for improving the branding side of things, let me know. Otherwise, let's keep going.